Hello everyone and welcome back and this is the Resident Evil Village the Castle Triple S Mercenaries run through most popular items. So you want to grab a pipe bomb and buy the same shotgun as the previous playthrough and you want to sell your first aid your handgun ammo your rifle ammo and the handgun itself Now with the money we have left, what we want to do is upgrade the shotgun so we're going to increase the power and increase the rate of fire as well. Once you head out, make sure you have your pipe bomb equipped. So run down this dark corridor and the enemy will just be to your right, just throw it in there with him and once the armor is gone, it takes about two shots and you're done with that enemy. Some people like to leave it till after but I like to get rid of him right away. Now run to the time orb and you're gonna have a few enemies that are just sleeping. So make sure to get them otherwise they just won't wake up and you will mess up the combo. There is gonna be another enemy here and two more sleeping in this corner and one just to your right. Once you eliminate him, do be careful, there is a lichen roaming around. And there he is. You have about three more enemies in this room and the blue orb as well. Get the ability that's best suited to your gameplay style and once you're at about 9 enemies, run up the stairs and guys try not to shoot the barrel. I know it happens sometimes but just be careful. Now you're gonna get this enemy that's here and grab your ammo. There's gonna be another enemy right here and once you exit this chamber, there's going to be another enemy just lying down. We're going to have another armored lichen and a few more lichens as well. To your right, there will be a blue orb. Now if you can guys, try to get a slow motion ability just for the castle playthrough because you'll find that it is a lot easier later on in this section. Once you head up the stairs, there will be three more lichens, and that is for the first section. We have a very clean, flawless combo going. So if you follow this playthrough, you are at a very good start so far. Once you're with the Duke, you do want to rinse and repeat. So you want to grab the ammo, and you want to sell the things you don't need and you want to upgrade your shotgun. Naturally. So we're going to sell the first aid, we're going to sell the handgun ammo, the rifle ammo. We're actually going to keep the pipe bomb and the mine just in case. Now we're just going to focus on upgrading the power of the shotgun and with whatever money is left we're just going to increase the ammo capacity oh, as well. Finished. A good deal, if I say so myself. Start. Now in this section what I'm going to do is run straight for the orb. I find that it's pretty much key to get one of the blue orbs as quickly as possible only that way you have more advantage to when you're defeating the enemies. So there is going to be another enemy coming down the stairs, don't forget about him. And once this room is cleared out, you want to make your way downstairs. So grab all your prize drops 
and we're gonna head for the time orb. Now we're gonna have a few soul dads that do spawn here. Grab your blue orb. Get the ability best suited for your playstyle, and we're gonna head out. Now in this section guys, you are going to have a lot of lichens that just run straight for you. But also keep in mind, you're going to have enemies that spawn behind you as well. So eliminate the lichens. If you want, you can leave one alive just so you keep your combo going. And once you make your way back to where you came from, you're going to have a few more enemies that spawn behind you. And then we're just going to head back out and continue going forward. There is going to be a barrel with three enemies surrounding it, so that way you do maintain your combo. I'm going to grab another blue orb to your left once you defeat the last few enemies. Now up until this point guys, if you don't have a slow motion ability, it's okay. It isn't too difficult. You can still do the section without it, but I find especially when you have to deal with the flying enemies, it's a lot quicker because with those guys, they can be very annoying. So again, grab your ammo and we are going to sell the first aid, the handgun ammo, the sniper ammo, and we're going to upgrade the shotgun. Your coin. So by this point, you should have full power. And we're going to increase the ammo capacity because we have the magic magazine. We pretty much have enough ammo to complete the rest of the castle playthrough. Start. Now this is one of my favorite areas of the game because you're pretty much just, you know, killing through the zombies, killing through the enemies and just making your way forward. It's a very easy, straightforward section. So we're going to go into the other room. There is going to be a time orb there. And we're going to encounter our first vampire chick. Now with the shotgun, it takes about two shots, sometimes three. And when you're at about 12 enemies defeated, that's when you want to head into the next room because you pretty much cleared this area. There is going to be an enemy right here by the window. And outside you're going to encounter your second sister. So in this section, if you want, you can keep one of the enemies alive only because when you're trying to defeat the flying enemies, they do fly around. Sometimes it's hard to get them down because they're always moving, but 
we actually did manage to keep the combo going here, which is great. So once you have the third enemy... I like to run into the room and defeat one of the enemies that are on the stairs just to maintain that combo. Sometimes you're able to go for the blue orb and maintain the combo. Sometimes it's very close, so it's better to be safe than sorry. So that is the strategy that I use. Now in this room here, there's going to be a lot of enemies. Grab the blue orb. And with this enemy, although he looks scary, he may make you a bit nervous, but he usually takes one or two shots to get rid of, especially with the shotgun if you follow the strategy. This section is really easy. Now once you're at 35 enemies defeated, you want to make your way up. And once you're up here, you're going to have a bunch of lichens with the arrows. You can keep one of the lichens alive for when you go for the time orb, or if you want, you can just eliminate all of them because we do have the lightning speed ability. If you don't have that ability equipped, then I do recommend keeping one of the lichens alive just so you can maintain your combo. And once you enter this room, you're going to encounter your final sister. Pretty straightforward, guys. This section is pretty easy to maintain that combo, and you'll see we do manage to get a triple S rank at the end. Get the last enemy and we're done this section of the castle. Rinse and repeat, grab the uh, ammo. Yes. And we're going to sell a lot of the things. We're going to sell the first aid, the handgun ammo, the rifle ammo. With the shotgun we have right now, it's pretty much OP. You can continue to upgrade more if you want to. But for me, I'm pretty much set. We're going to sell the pipe bomb, and at this point you don't really need to, but I am going to increase the ammo capacity just by opinion. one more. And we're just going to proceed on through. Start. This section, we're going to run past all the enemies straight downstairs. And we're going to take a shot at Angie. So we're not going to start the combo until we have our second shot at Angie. And then we're going to make our way down and begin our combo. So we're going to have a couple enemies that come at you from downstairs. So defeat these few enemies here. And you are going to have two enemies that do spawn behind you as well. Now you're going to make your way down. And we're going to clear this room here. Get your prize pickup. Now down here, we're going to have a few flaming enemies that spawn.
and in this area it is pretty easy to miss a few enemies so just take your time make sure you have all the enemies defeated once you're at about 21 enemies you can make your way out Now out here we're going to have two armored lichens that do spawn. If you kept your pipe bomb you can go ahead and use that. But with the shotgun these guys do get eliminated pretty easily. You're going to have two birds. Once you have those. We're going to make our way down here and we're going to have a few more flamed enemies that spawn. We're gonna go take another shot at Angie and we're gonna clear out the field. Now once you have all the enemies in this field defeated, you are gonna allow the armored soldat to spawn. So what I'm gonna do is just leave a mine for him. Now the mistake I made here is I didn't get rid of him right when I could have and I saved him for last which kind of messes up my combo but it's okay because we still maintain that triple S rank. Now we're going to make our way back into the castle where a few new enemies have spawned. And we're going to make our way back upstairs. gonna have one enemy that's just sleeping here and to the other end of the castle we're gonna have an archer and another sleeping enemy Alright guys, so if you followed everything down to the T, at this point we pretty much had a perfect combo except for the shot I didn't take. And this is the enemy right here. One shot is all it took. But even if you followed this guide all the way through, don't worry guys, you will still be able to get that triple S rank. And yeah, that's all it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.